Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're here to talk about some fragrances that I recently purchased in a travel set. Not the full size bottle yet because this is a niche fragrance and I want to make sure that I'm going to love it. So if you are interested in learning about this collection, go ahead and stay tuned. We're going to go over some of these scents together just so that you can get an idea and a feel for the brand as well. And um, the set that I am going to go over is called Roses and Flowers Best Sellers. So they have so many other scents to choose from, but I went with the line that I felt most closest to. So we have um, Pure Gold, Crystal Flowers, Daydreams, Oud Amazing, Dark Purple, and Intense Cafe. So out of the seven scents, we're going to see which one we love. Um, I haven't tried them on my skin yet today, or I don't think I tried them on my skin at all. So I made little um, cards, here we go, these cards, and I put the time on it and the scent so that I can recognize exactly which one it is. But um, yeah, we're gonna go over that. So the first thing we're gonna do is pure gold. Now, I have to look for the pure gold one. So this is the pure gold, and I did it at 10, I mean, I sprayed it at 1038. I'm just gonna smell it again just to see what it smells like now because I wanna see like I know I feel as if like when you're spraying it the first time you get these beautiful scents but it's just not fully developed yet right now it's 12 so I guess it's like an hour or so later um, 12 it's 12 13 mmm this one, pure gold, is very rich. Uh, yeah. Very much rich auntie vibes. <laughs> rich mom vibes. It smells very classy. And mature. Really nice. So for the pure gold, I was able to get some of the, I mean, the notes off of the website. Um, and also I got the accords as well. Some of the scents did not have the notes on the website. So I'll just be going over the main accords for those. But for this scent, the top note is orange blossom and mandarin. Um, the heart notes is neroli, jasmine, and apricot. And the base notes are, um, and the base notes are patchouli white musk and vanilla so I'm getting a I'm getting a lot of the patchouli jasmine patchouli jasmine orange blossom the vanilla it's it smells very good really nice so the Pure Gold by Montel is for women and the main accords are um, white floral, musky, citrus, fruity, patchouli, sweet, vanilla, animalic, and woody. So um, that scent is really nice for, I don't know, hmm, it smells good but I don't know if I would need that for myself because and that's just not the scent that I would typically go for, but it's really nice and very fragrant and I definitely smell the white florals. So the next scent that we're going to get into is the Crystal Flowers Montel. Let's see, where are you Crystal Flowers? So I did this um, same time, all of them at the same time I sprayed them. Okay, Crystal Flowers definitely can do this. I love this very beautiful it smells like you're walking through a garden but in a, the best way i think this is what i wanted delina to smell like honestly this is what i was hoping that everyone was describing because you definitely get that rose you get that sweetness it has a powdery vibe as well i had to look at that amber oh my god this scent is so beautiful crystal flowers and this one was sprayed at 1038 it's 1212 so the top notes for the crystal flower is um, mandarins the middle notes is lily of the valley rose and orange blossom 
And the bottom notes is white musk and ambergris. I don't know what ambergris is, but it smells good. Let's get into the main accords for the um, crystal flowers. So the main accords is rose, musky, white floral, floral, citrus, powdery, amber, and fresh. Okay, so from this note, I mean from this, I love rose when it's done right. Um, who says it's done wrong though? I can't be the judge of that, huh? Whatever. I love rose when rose smells like this. <laughs> the muskiness, the white floral. I like white florals. Um, but it also has the floral in it, which is kind of nice too, because I guess that gives it a different take on just florals. More, I'm guessing more different color florals, I'm guessing. I don't know. But um, then the citrus, I'm always in love with citrus. Powdery, powdery, sin, powdery tends to stay on me longer throughout the day, and I think I like that. The amber gives it that more, I don't want to say caramelized, but that more like, I don't know, it's something about amber that just draws me close, and I really love it. And then the fresh scent, I'm all for fresh scents. Fresh scents definitely energizes me, so it's I'm I'm give I'm really I am feeling the femininity in this fragrance and I believe so many people will love this I believe so many men will love this on women as well if you're going for that but very feminine scent very classy she's beautiful I love this scent so crystal flowers definitely noted I think I will maybe purchase that one Let's go ahead and get into the next scent. So the next scent that we have from Montel Paris is the Montel um, Daydreams. So let's go ahead and smell what that smells like now. Mm. She's nice. She is nice. This one is for men and women. Oh, I love it. I love it. It unfolds so well. It's 12.20 now and this was sprayed at 10.38. Mm -hmm. I'm being extra. Okay. I love this smell. I don't know if I love it more than Crystal Flowers, but they're definitely... They're both so good. This scent right here is making me happy. It smells like... Oh, just so cuddly. I know I said that before, but it's just so warm. It's but it's still it's like a pretty oh my god baby smell, but not really like an adult smell with powder. I think this is such a nice scent. I feel like a man would love this as well on himself. He would love this on her and himself. And I feel like a woman would love this on him or her. But it is not masculine at all in a way where it's like you get those strong man smells. Like it's not that fresh man. I mean, ugh, it's so hard to describe. Let's go ahead and get into some of these main accords. <laughs> So for daydreams, you have white floral, citrus, vanilla, sweet, woody, powdery, and coconut. I like coconut, you guys. I'm finding that out. And I am, I could smell some of that. That coconut. Oh, it smells so nice. I'm not being extra, am I? I think I am. I like this one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into the notes that they have as well. I know I kind of read that backwards this time, but hey. So the top notes for the Daydream from Montel Paris is Tangerine, Neroli, Tierre, Flower. And then the heart notes is Orange, Blossom, Jasmine, Coconut, Cashmere, Sandalwood. And then the base notes are Heliotrope, Vanilla, Amber, and Sweet Musk. There's so much depth to this one. This one has like so much going on inside but it smells so simple but not 
This scent is beautiful. I feel like everyone, I think everyone would be like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? All day long. I love it. I know I didn't do that much for the rose um, crystal flowers, but crystal flowers has more height to it, if that makes any sense. It just has more of a, a tinge of tartness and the daydreams have more of like a, a softer scent, if that makes any sense. So the next fragrance we're gonna get into, and I'm so excited because I really love the idea of rose musk. That's the name of this one. So. I didn't really smell this one, but I'm very interested in seeing what it smells like. Hmm. Rose musk and crystal flowers smell similar, but I feel like I get more umph from crystal flowers. Rose musk has more of like a tiny bit of, I don't know. I'm smelling some jasmine. Is it, does it have jasmine in here? But it's also like a green vine type of smell. I don't even know what to call it. So for the, so for the Montel, um, what is this, Roses Musk? They didn't have notes on the website, so I only have the Accords from Fragantica. And it's rose, musky, powdery, floral, and white floral. It's nice if you don't like that strong of a scent. So if you're more of a person who likes lighter fragrances, I think that you would love this one more than the Crystal Flowers. Because it's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more like that jasmine smell, I think. I don't know what it is, but it's just a tinge of something that's just a little bit more either white floral or more on a green grass side. It smells expensive. It definitely does. Hmm. It just smells as if it will disappear faster on the skin. I don't think that I would get that one. I feel like if I'm getting something like this, I want it to be a little bit more powerful and a little bit more sillage. So I feel like I would go more so with the daydreams or the crystal flowers so far. So we have three more fragrances that we're going to try. The next one that we're gonna try is the Oud Amazing. It is 1226 and I sprayed this one at 1038. Mmm, I like it. I like it, but not for me. But I respect it. Very strong, but in a subtle way. Like it smells like respect in a bottle. <laughs> Very nice. It smells enticing, alluring. I smell some patchouli for sure. And the oud is a very strong scent regardless, so. I also learned from the Montel collection that um, if, yeah, I believe that they were the first ones to put oud into their fragrances. So that's kind of a cool note. Mm, very woody too. Let's go ahead and get into some of the um, the notes. So the website did have the notes for this one. So we have for top notes we have orange, bergamot, agarwood. I think that's what the oud is, and then pear and fig. The heart notes is jasmine, patchouli, and iris, and the base notes is vanilla, leather, and white musk. This scent is for women and men. I feel like I would like it more on an older man. Like this is a very mature scent. But it's soothing. A fresh grandpa. It smells very rich. I like that. 
but will I purchase it for myself? Absolutely not. So let's get into some of the main accords for um, the Montel Oud Amazing. And it's fruity, sweet, oud, vanilla, woody, leather, powdery, patchouli, citrus, and animalic. Guys, so we have two more fragrances that I am going to mention and um, we're going to talk about a little bit further. So the next fragrance is the dark purple and um, that's for women. Let's go ahead and smell it. The time is now 12.30 p.m. Oops, I pulled it on the wrong side and I sprayed it at 10.38. The smell a little bit more faint. It's like it's there, but not really. It's pretty though. It kind of reminds me of the... Hmm. Barely smell it now, guys. Okay, so far as the dark purple, I can barely smell it. I mean, I smell something there and it's beautiful, but... is very light so I'm guessing this scent right here won't last as long on you and if you're okay with respraying or you're not a heavy sprayer and you don't like heavy intoxicating scents all day like I do <laughs> then you'll love this one but um it reminds me of all the roses honestly it does have that plum smell to it which is just like a deeper darker type of smell um also like a berry type of smell it's pretty, but it's disappearing. And I sprayed like two times on each one of these um, papers. So on the website, they didn't have the notes for um, purple Montel. I mean for dark purple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read the chords. So we have um, fruity, rose, sweet, woody, musky, fresh, spicy, patchouli, powdery, animalic, and warm, spicy. So all of that sounds beautiful and amazing. It sounds very deep as far as like the depth of the fragrances. I really wish that they had the chords, I mean the um, the notes on the website because you just kind of want to know what it is more. You just want to know what it is, right? But it's very light, very light. It's almost disappearing. Okay, last but not least, we have Intense Cafe. And I am so interested in that smell because I love coffee. I love the aroma of coffee. It just wakes me up. It makes me feel as if like everything is gonna be okay. It's just a good day with coffee for some reason. Iced coffee, hot coffee, you name it. I like this. This smells, it has more of a chocolatey type of smell though. Hmm. Subtle. Like cocoa beans or something? Very nice though. I like it. But. I think I would want it to last a little longer than the way it's smelling on this paper right now. I sprayed this on perfume car paper before as well. And. I don't think it lasted that long. I don't think it was like, I don't think it was enough for me to spend that much money on this particular scent, but it's beautiful. It's nice, but very light. So this is another one I don't think that I would actually purchase. I like it, but it just, I want something that's gonna last a little longer throughout the day. So let's go ahead and get into some of these main accords. We have rose, vanilla, coffee, floral, powdery, warm, spicy, musky, amber, and sweet. It's nice though. It's, uh, it's really nice. I can't lie. I mean, I'm not even trying to lie. It's nice, but some of these fragrances also seem like it smells better at a distance too. Like I can smell it here. It's weird. It's like I could smell it here, but when I 
do this, it kind of just goes a little bit more faint. I don't know. But you can imagine what my home smells like. It smells like a like it smells like Montel Paris just like had a little party in here. It smells amazing. So also their bottles are supposed to be designed in particular to the fragrances to keep the fragrances trapped inside and also um help them to develop into something that's even more better. On the website, it mentions something like um, the fragrances are alive and they're still growing into their full potential. So when you buy the bottle, it might not be the same thing later on, but it's supposed to develop into something even greater. With these bottles made in mind, I believe, that's how I interpreted the message. I could be a fairly off a little bit, but um, I thought that was pretty cool. So they designed the bottle being aluminum to kind of like store the perfume a little bit more differently and better according to the nose of the perfumer, I believe. Um, whereas other fragrances are more so in a regular glass bottle, right? So that's interesting to me. I learned that about Montel. Um, but yeah, you can purchase these fragrances at Neiman Marcus and Bloomingdale's and also on the um, website of those places and also on the Montel Paris, I mean, um, and also on the Montel Paris website. So go ahead and get your nose on some of these scents. The discovery set is only $25 and it comes like, and it comes like this. This is the inside of it. Doesn't it look so beautiful? It looks like you just got something really nice and expensive. <laughs> so it's like a little treat for $25. This is the size of the fragrances. So that'll get, that's enough to travel with. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and read the casing. It says, it was founded in 2001. It says Montel Parfums is one of the most rare and precious perfume collections, renowned for harmonizing essence of the East and West, while continuing in the ageless tradition of French perfumery. Advanced in ingredients blending, Montel was the first French perfume collection to use oud, a complex rich and smoky ingredient known as the truffle of the perfume industry. Today the collection features over 95 fragrances, many of which contain oud and the span of which suit any palette. Each fragrance is composed of the finest raw materials and high auto perfume concentrations for a long-lasting scent that is protected by a specially developed aluminum bottle. And then it also comes with this card, which also tells you a little bit more about the line and about the fragrances that you have in your collection. Um, so the Pure Gold, it says a delicate floral bouquet of orange blossom, neroli, and jasmine sweetened by fresh tangerine and apricot. The notes are neroli, orange blossom, apricot, and tangerine. The Crystal Flowers is an oriental fruity floral, and that is the bright, I mean, um, bright mandarin blends with soft floral notes of rose and lily of the valley on a warm base of amber. So the notes are lily of the valley, roses, mandarin, and amber. Daydreams is a fruity floral gourmand. So like the warm summer nights in Greece, Daydreams is a soft breeze, is a soft breeze of orange blossom with juicy notes of mandarin and tropical notes, tierra flower, all suspended on a light cloud of vanilla. Definitely get that cloudy vibe. The notes are orange blossom, mandarin, tierra flower, and vanilla. The rose musk is a musky floral. Just as the name suggests, roses, roses musk is a soft and simple blend of roses and musk all underlined by creamy vanilla. The notes are rose, white musk, and vanilla. Oud Amazing, if anyone knows, I mean Oud Amazing is a floral gourmand, Oud. If anyone knows how to make an amazing Oud fragrance, 
it would be Montel. An edible oud with mouth-watering pear and fig. The fig hugs the skin with powdery iris and warm vanilla. Notes, fig, vanilla, iris, and oud. Dark purple is a oriental fruity floral and it's a mouth-watering purple plum and red fruit blend with fruits of roses darkened by patchouli. So the notes are plum, red fruit, rose, and patchouli. And then last but not least, we have the Intense Cafe, which is a floral gourmand, freshly brewed coffee with hints of delicate rose, lightened by a creamy base of vanilla and white musk. Notes, rose, coffee, bean, and vanilla. All right, guys, so that is that. One more thing I wanna do here today is, I would like to just spray them just to kind of get like, you know, a fresh vibe of what it smells like on my skin. So this is the Rose Goat. I said Rose Goat, pure gold. <laughs> Beautiful, rich scent. Can't lie. This is nice. I'm thinking wedding. But it is also churchy too. Church, wedding. It's a loud fragrance, not in a bad way, but it is very much more for people who have more of a mature nose. It's beautiful though. It's really beautiful. Then I'm going to do, this is Crystal Flowers, my favorite. This is one of my, I mean, this is my favorite from the line so far. It still has that alcohol vibe at first. It's so pretty, I love that scent. Next we have Daydreams. I'm going to spray Daydreams right here I only sprayed a little bit more because it didn't come out properly I got some on my thumb too Ooh. daydreams right away it's amazing mm, and that rose um, I mean crystal flowers definitely smell like it should be called rose something but it definitely you definitely get roses first oh I did daydreams already so now we have rose musk and I'm gonna spray that here I smell roses and alcohol Smells so good. Rose musk is so light, like you smell that rose, but then it's just so light. This one feels like it's leaking a little. It's not, it's just me. Oh. Ooh, amazing is it definitely gives off that first like ooh, ood, <laughs> chocolatey and just like woody, very good. And we have dark purple. Use this area. We gonna use every every piece of skin we can. Fresh. Oh, that smells so good. This is how they get you. They're like, let's just have them spray it so that burst of spray can make them want to buy it, you know? That, that burst right there will make you want to buy it. But it's not one of my favorites. 
Mm. Mm. Which one was this, guys? <laughs> oh, amazing, right? Hmm. Last scent is the Coffee Intense. I already have the Oud Amazing right here, right? I'll just spray it. There. I wish I could mark on my skin exactly what is what, but I feel like I'll be able to know, especially later on, what scent is what, so that because I already wrote them down and I already went over what they smell like so I feel like I'll have a sense of which one is which I just can't wash my hands <laughs> or maybe I can and it's that strong you never know mm. I love this one this is the uh, crystal flowers Guys, I'm all confused. I'm lying. I don't know which one is which now, but hopefully it develops later and I'm like, oh yeah, this is this scent, this is that scent. But that's just being honest. Um, but the scents aren't that choky. Like it doesn't make me want to just be like, hachoo, hachoo. <laughs> it's not giving me that vibe at all. So I guess that's a great thing too, if you're going around someone. You see, I just spray all those scents and they do have like a, a incense vibe to them but I don't smell anything that's triggering me. So, so I'm going to read this um, quote from Pierre Montel. It says, a fragrance is a natural and living material which continues its maceration. The fragrance you buy today will gain strength and roundness along its conservation. Time and maceration, the secret of an elixir. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for staying tuned and you know watching my whole video and just like going over these fragrances with me. I feel as if like I'm able to pick a better uh, fragrance from this line now because I think I know which ones I want. Now we'll see with the samples if they last a little bit longer on the skin too. So I'll wear them and I'll see before I purchase a big bottle of one of these fragrances. So thank you again for helping me choose. Um, go ahead and leave in the comments which one sounds more like you or which one sounds more like something you're interested in getting your nose on. Um, also, don't forget to go to some of these stores and have the experience without purchasing because, you know, you sometimes we get the bottle home and we're just like, oh, nothing. I don't love this anymore. So. Go ahead, have that experience. Um, leave that down in the comments. Come back for another video. I will leave some, I mean, link some videos in the description. So also hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much again, guys. I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.